You previously served in the Washington State House of Representatives in the 1990s, but you left in 2000 and went on to serve on the Snohomish County Council. Now you're back in the House after 17 years. So what do you find is different today than when you were in the House before? Well, the process is pretty much the same. There's a number of new faces, and uh, this is a people business, so it's getting to know some of the new people. But when I left, the last budget I voted on was a $20.5 billion budget. The last budget the House passed out of here was $38.5 billion. Population when I left was 5.9 million people, and the population's only gone up 18%. So we still have continued spending in government and a regulatory board, and that continues to grow. Coming into the 2017 session, you were placed in a leadership role named as ranking Republican on the state government committee in the House. What do you hope to accomplish on that committee? Well, I first want to thank Dan Christensen for that appointment. It's a great spot to be in because one of my main focuses coming back down here is the regulatory burden of state agencies and the way state agencies function comes through that committee. So I'm looking forward to making a difference in that regard. I understand you've already introduced two regulatory reform measures. Can you tell us about those? Sure. One was House Bill 1240. That pertains to the way the Joint Administrative Rules Review Committee, we call it JARC down here, functions. And it would give the legislature an opportunity to review rules and give greater oversight to the legislature over that rulemaking process. The other bill is House Bill 1241. That bill was designed to reel in the authority of the rulemaking agencies. It actually takes away the general rulemaking authority of agencies and requires them to have specific legislative authority for any rule that they promulgate. Beside your concerns on regulatory reform, what do you see as the issue likely to capture the most attention in the legislature during the 2017 session? Well, there's lots of big issues, but primarily the McCleary decision. Legislature's going to focus on that. You know, there's lots of proposals out there. This is a long, arduous process, and, you know, it's a little early to try to figure out exactly how that's all going to shake out. But, you know, we are going to get this solved this year, and the court said we rely too much on local levies, and we'll get that resolved this year, I believe. How important is it for people to get involved and how can they do so here? It's extremely important for people to have their voice heard down here in Olympia. They can do that by going to the website, they can sign up for my e-newsletter or pick up the phone and give us a call.